Hey guys, so today I'm doing, going to do a review on this UK PK Blue FRN, not G10, with, uh, let's see if you can pick it up on camera, Gen 1, I don't know how well it's going to show up, anyways it's a modified drop point slash sheep's foot blade shape. So it's also UK certified since it is from its namesake, so UK, PK, so UK, pen knife. It's a great little knife, it has a wire pocket clip here. Um, so let's go over some of the specs. I already mentioned Gen 1 steel. Uh, it's overall 6.93 inches. Uh, its closed length is 4 inches, uh, slightly over it. Blade thickness is 1.25 or uh, about 3 millimeters. Blade length is 2 and uh, 2.93 and cutting edge is 2.62, so a little over 2.5 inches. And again it's uh, FRR Handle material. A good knife overall. It's simple, so it's legal to carry in almost anywhere, including the UK. And um, I originally bought this knife just to try out Spyderco's version of a slip joint knife, and I think they hit it out of the park with this one for a good sized EDC blade. With decent steel, I was never quite a fan of G1 because it's a little uh, less. It has a little less edge retention than let's see an ATS 54, I believe. And I could get razor sharp, and that's not an issue. But um, it's saber ground, as you can see. It has great ergonomics. I mean, this puck clip, you're not going to obviously use this knife for a prolonged period of time. This is just a simple knife to peel a potato or your apple or, or your orange. It's not something that you'd spend hours using. You could if you if you had to. This, the ergonomics lends, it, lends itself well to prolonged use. I mean, you could just grip it like this. Let me uh, zoom out here so we can get a better look at that. You could just zoom out... Uh, Grip it like this and have plenty of comfort for hours of use. Even though if I was going to use a knife, I'd rather have a fixed blade for hours of continuous use. Just because it is a sub-joint and it can be easily unlocked. It's just my preference. But, back to the knife. So it has a Spartaco. It's... I just lost my train of thought here. Where was I? Your Spyderco logo, you have your, I believe they're T8 or T10 Torx bit screw construction here. You have a presentation side, which is kind of cool. If you ever want to put it on a, oh, put it on a display case or, uh, or something, but for me it's a user. I don't usually display most of my knives. There's a couple that I've collected that I keep just as a collection piece, won't be used at all. Well, but I've liked so much that I've actually bought two of them, so. But, I've already covered the general, the steel type. Actually, you know what, let me go over the steel type again a little bit more. So, this is a Gen 1 steel. And, while it's a good stainless steel, I haven't had any corrosion or or rust problems at all. I mean, it's I used this most of the summer last year. A little late for the review, but that's what it is. It is what it is, I mean. Um, so it was in my summer all, in my pocket all summer, excuse me. And it was near, near salt water for a couple of days. I had no issue, no issue with corrosion or, or any of that sort. I was able to easily keep it sharp with a strop for most of the time. 
Um, as you, I don't know if you can see that, but I did reprofile the edge because most of these knives that we get nowadays don't have a proper edge on them at all. Say for Spydeco's Paramilitary, which has a pretty decent edge for the knives that I currently have in my collection. Besides that, most of them need or need needed a reprofiling of their primary edge. But the steel itself is good. It's uh, not as good as the TS-54, uh, I believe it's called. Um, it loses its hair popping sharp edge relatively quickly, but it keeps its working edge for quite a long time, actually. Um, I do notice that it gets dings if, if you put it through harder work, but again, this is a slip joint knife, not meant to be used as a hard task EDC knife. Uh, so like I was saying, the Ergos, I really like the Ergos. You have a, as you can see in my hand, it fills, it's a, it fills my hand nice and full. So there's very little protruding here from the back, which I really like. So it just fills your hand. It doesn't, it does not overly huge handle, good ergonomics, plenty, uh, some jumping here, which helps keep your finger in place. A choil here, so that you can easily get up on some stuff if you have to and do a little whittling if necessary. But, very nice, very nimble knife. So overall, I give it two thumbs up. Please remember to comment down below, and if you have one of these, let me know what you think. Thanks. Goodbye.